I once heard a man talk a little bit about his country, uh, Burkina Bay, and he said, my country is very, very poor when it comes to wealth, but it's the richest when it comes to people. And the people in this country don't act like they're the poorest people in the world. They love hard and, and they laugh hard. Even though they have little, they share everything that they have. And when we, sh when we show up in a village, they all come out, they're all greeting us. They know we don't speak their language, but they still want to share how much they appreciate that we've come. When you go to a house or to a family, you will see the little miller that we have, and we come together, we sit on, not the table, we sit around ourselves with our pot and we eat, and there's joy, and we have contentment. The Mission of Friends in Action is about coming alongside the national pastors and evangelists and missionaries and uh, giving them opportunities, new opportunities in villages to share the love of Christ in a real practical way. So we come alongside and we drill water wells and uh, it gives opportunity for the pastors to uh, give them an example of God's love and compassion. <laughs> <laughs> we will say water for us here is the essential because health, to have a good health, you need to have it. So not only that it gives good health, but also it provides education for the community. Uh, let's take example, if you want uh, teachers or professors to come, or even having a school, if there's no water, don't don't even try because nobody will come over there to, uh, to, to teach their children. Make me appreciate the water that we do have and how accessible it is. Before this, they had to walk further to get water that wasn't necessarily clean even, so yeah, it makes you not take for granted as much what we have back home. I think I mostly just came just to to do the work and to see wells get drilled, but to actually see that that caused people to come to Christ. I wasn't thinking that deep. I was just thinking, come and work, and God took it a, a whole big step further. <laughs> You might not be a mechanic, you might not be a driller, uh, you might not be a handy person, but if you know how to use a shovel, if you're willing to get dirty, then come. If you can't come, give. If you can't give, or even if you can, pray. Because it's through the work of God, it's by His Spirit and by His power that we can do all these things.